Hello and welcome to this review of Hard Hide Ponchatoula Strawberry Whiskey 86 proof whiskey with natural flavors 43% alcohol This was introduced in 2022 and it is bottled by Sidewalk Spirits of New Orleans, Louisiana and uh, this is the second product they've made the first one was Joe Gambino's King Cake um, liqueur and that was great it was awesome and Mr. John who owns this company he watched my video and he loved it and he said he would like to give me a bottle of hard hide to try out when it came out and he did and I really appreciate it Mr. John thank you I did not ask for it he offered I don't go around asking people for liquor or beer or wine okay just an hour north of New Orleans the small town of Ponchatoula Louisiana holds the title of quote unquote strawberry capital of the world and at the center of the town right there right United States Highway 51 business route goes north and then makes that west turn and junction with the junction of Louisiana Highway 22 oops is the uh, sorry about that <laughs> is where they have the farmers market and there's a live alligator in a cage and it's called hard hide Old Hard Hide presides there. Ponchatoula Strawberry Whiskey is the perfect blend of farm fresh strawberries. We went and picked strawberries in Ponchatoula once. Aged and unaged whiskeys for a smooth as, for a taste as smooth and sweet as a ripe strawberry itself. Enjoy it over ice with a splash of club soda or in your favorite cocktail. I got it out the freezer so it's ready to roll. We donate 2% of our sales to help maintain Old Hard Hide's habitat. If you are ever in Ponchatoula, Louisiana, drop by downtown and pay her a visit. Farmer grown and built by bartenders. Now, what are the whiskeys used in here? The unaged whiskey would be, you know, moonshine and then the aged whiskey. I don't know. That's not revealed. And so we're not going to concern ourselves with it. We're going to concern ourselves with is the, is it a good flavor? And this is the first video review for this product in the world. Same thing for the Joe Gambino's King Cake. Okay. There's a pull tab. Very convenient. Didn't notice that at first. Let's get this plastic shroud off there. Wooden cap. This will run you about $27 a bottle, okay? Cork, not plastic or rubber, cork. Okay. Moisturize that. With with these whiskey liqueurs or a brandy liqueur or rum liqueur, you want to have them cold from the freezer. I'm telling you, you don't want to drink them warm. That's a big mistake. Comes out kind of syrupy. Um, put that down there. I'll recap it. Good. All right. So I'll put it up here. Here's the card he gave me. King cake rum cream liqueur. Yeah, king king cake. Joe Gambino's King Cake. So there's the business card with the two products. Sidewalk Side Spirits. They have a, a website, SidewalkSideSpirits.com. So thank you, Mr. John, for this great gift. Beautiful strawberries. There's the alligator. Okay, appearance. It's light. It's... Um, Like a gold, but like a pinkish gold, similar to like what you see with a Betas Straw Gator or Strawberry Lager. It's never like red or pink, but if you get a strawberry, typical Louisiana strawberry, and get the juice, it's usually not red or it might just have a slight pink tint, it's usually gold looking or clear. Okay, let's go with the taste. I mean, the aroma. <laughs> If 
first thing I notice is oak barrels. So that's obviously coming from the aged whiskey. Don't know how long it's aged. Uh, and then you just get a little um, generalized whiskey aroma of from whatever brand. I mean, we know of we we know what common eighty six proof whiskey brands are. I'm not going to name them because it really wouldn't really assist in the review. Nice widely spaced drippings, alcohol eggs. Strawberry in the nose. Yeah, like a little tiny bit of strawberry liqueur, uh, just like strawberry pulp puree in the nose. I know Abita uses Louisiana strawberry puree, and it could be the same thing here. And then they, you know, they strain it out, filter it out to get it to be clear. All right. <laughs> Smells nice. Looks nice. Taste. Chaws. A little syrupy in the mouthfeel as you get with these liqueurs. A little tartness or acidity. Now, strawberry is a very acidic. Sometimes more acidic than sweet. Oftentimes. That's why you get the strawberry shortcake and the people add the, the whipped cream and all to um, give it some sweetness. Little oak. Just get like generalized grain spirits, which makes sense. Um, whiskey being a grain spirit, rum. On the other one, the king cake uh, liqueur is rum based. That's a sugar based spirit. It's got a little bite to it at the end of the sip, like a short to medium finish. If you're thinking, uh, oh, I wouldn't drink that, it'd be a sugar bomb. I can't stand those things. It's like drinking sugar water. It's just off-putting. It, it isn't that way, actually. The sugar level is uh, relatively low. Well, I mean, the sugariness. I mean, it's sugary, but I say it's low in a relative sense. So like some of these others you may get from other companies, just I haven't tried the Jim Beam Peach. But my experience with a lot of those are just, ooh, it's just, you're just oh, can't believe the sugariness. But I watch people drink coffee when I'm at work, and I'm like, a, a, and not appalled, well, I am appalled, but astounded, like I say to myself, look at them putting a little coffee in their sugar. But this is measured. I'm not getting like a super strawberry forward feeling though. It's just a a sweet liqueur feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I if you gave this to somebody blind, I don't know if they would guess strawberry or just um, like I'm saying generalized fruit sweetness uh, it's hard to say um, strawberry products are really difficult to review I gotta say that because they it's the way it comes across is is it's a lot different than like banana or orange or like I was saying earlier peach it's a peculiar fruit um, But if you're a strawberry fan or just a whiskey liqueur fan, go ahead, get it. The price is right. Anything nasty, all putting or negative about it? No, 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 no. I need to try some of those Louisiana wines, though. I have never gotten around to it, and that's ridiculous. You know, there's so many wines from Louisiana that I haven't addressed, and that's not right. It really isn't. 
I can get cheap wines all the time or expensive ones depending on what I want to buy. But you know, I need to really make a, a, a an effort in the next couple of years to focus on that and not get anything else. And that's what that's going to be the game plan. And I do like to focus on Louisiana products as price permits. I mean, some of the prices for Louisiana bourbons and rums are prohibitive. In my book, it's like, oh, wait, I'm not too sure about this, you know. Anyway, I have such a backlog. And I, and I told my friend David, I'm not buying any more liquor for years. He said, sure, I'll believe that. I said, no, I'm serious. But then <laughs> I saw all those new benchmarks come out, and I was like, no. You know, <laughs> that benchmark uh, top floor and the single barrel and the foolproof. I, I, I was getting the heebie-jeebies on that, you know. I'm not a liqueur guy, honestly. I never drink them. You say, well, you review them. I've seen by every other day. I review them, of course, and I bring them on uh, Fandango Friday, but I'm not a drinker of them. I don't drink them uh, typically, but oh, they're fun. Uh, this one is nice. I like it, uh, but I'm going to go with 87. 8.7 out of 10, a B. It's good. I wouldn't say excellent or most excellent or, you know, fabulous or anything, but it's good. And if if you see it, you can, I think the distribution is pretty wide, buy it, and you most part probably going to like it. So thanks again, Mr. John, for sending it. Lazy Le Bon Temps Relay, I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all go to Ponchatoula and go to the farmer's market and go see Old Hardhide. <laughs>